It's a mess out there. This isn't safe. Your customers may already be saying this and becoming more reluctant to drive in your area. But the good news is changes are under consideration that will address these problems. It's a fair bet that there will be some growing pains and inconveniences during this work. But the good news is that the opportunity exists to improve future conditions by reducing the number of future traffic conflicts through good design practice known as access management. More on that in a bit, but first let's discuss the root cause of corridor congestion. Traffic conflicts. Congestion is not only caused by too much traffic, it can also result when there are too many traffic conflicts. A traffic conflict is any potential for two vehicles to compete for the same space. Conflicts result from cars making turns, merging, slowing, passing, or waiting for other cars to pass by. Whereas we can't always make the volumes go away, we can help control the vehicle conflicts that contribute to problems. The more conflicts, the more congestion, and the more likely there are to be accidents. Think of a single conflict as one rock in a pond. The ripples are easy to see and are predictable. However, when dozens of rocks are thrown in at once, the ripples are dynamic. They create chaos, and it is difficult to avoid one at the cost of another. Multiple traffic conflicts increase the potential for congestion, delay, and ultimately crashes. Studies confirm that the number of predictable crashes increases with the density of driveways and the resulting increase in potential conflicts. How will the roadway improvement project help this? One aspect of a road improvement project is the opportunity to reduce conflicts, congestion, and delay. This practice is known collectively as access management. Access management is the improved control of the location, spacing, design, and operation of driveways and intersections, resulting in freer flowing conditions and less conflicts. In the same way that a gardener will prune a tangled thicket of unsightly overgrowth, engineers can prune a cluttered, chaotic corridor into a safer, manageable roadway by employing such practices as combining driveways to reduce conflicts in the travel lanes eliminating driveways near intersections, installing medians to separate opposing traffic, installing turn lanes to direct where safe crossing movements can be located, building alternative access ways to relocate turning movements away from the busy through traffic, interconnecting properties to relieve the street system from handling these movements. The proper location and spacing of signals to avoid traffic tie-ups too close to interchanges and to handle left turns in appropriate locations. And restricting certain turning movements to create fewer conflicts to through traffic. Safe U-turns can be provided up or downstream to replace these movements. Studies show that properly designed U-turns tend to be safer than left turns and are entirely acceptable to motorists. But a change in my access will affect my business. In any arena, change brings apprehension. Construction aside, the resulting change to your driveway or property access is unlikely on its own merits to negatively impact upon your business. In fact, the goal of this project is to improve conditions so that customers will want to come back, enticed by a safer, more orderly corridor. Existing customers who want to revisit you will adjust to the new changes. New customers, some of whom may be attracted to the newly refurbished corridor, will assume the redesign is the status quo. The bottom line is that customers will choose to visit your business not for the width or location of your driveway, but ideally for your products, price, customer service, and reputation. My wife and I started a petition uh, 
on South Grand Avenue, and uh, we got everyone, every business uh, person to sign that petition to stop the construction. We objected to all the city officials, state officials, and everybody to come by, the surveyors, and everybody you can think of. And as I look back now, uh, I was overreacting. The road was a good project. How will my driveway be affected? Depending on the roadway project, your driveway may be directly or indirectly affected. Direct impacts include building a median, closing a driveway, eliminating left turns in or out. Indirect impacts include introducing a signal upstream or changing access to another property up or downstream. Even if your driveway is redesigned to restrict some turns, research indicates that this type of action alone rarely causes a business to fail. There are many determinants to the success or failure of a business. Before and after research studies on commercial businesses and real estate in states as diverse as Florida, Iowa, Kansas, Minnesota, and Texas are remarkably consistent and positive in their results. The strong majority of businesses along highway corridors where access management improvements have been made experience similar or greater sales once projects are completed. Business turnover and vacancy rates do not increase after these changes are made. Nearly all business customers will be positive about the roadway improvement project once it is reopened to traffic because the road is safer and traffic flows better. Commercial real estate prices are not affected, even when property access is changed from direct access to indirect access by frontage roads or side streets. Roadway improvements that manage land access effectively simply do not adversely impact commercial businesses in the area, except perhaps only during the construction phase. How does congestion affect market area? A congested system lowers traffic speeds and increases delays through that area. Congestion reduces the distances and duration customers are willing to endure in order to run their errands. Before and after research has found that successful access management projects can reduce delays in a corridor, thereby enlarging the market reach for the businesses. Think about it. What areas of the city or region do you avoid because of delays? If those delays could be lessened, you might reconsider visiting those corridors again. Another benefit is that motorists will feel safer and less stressed when there is a coordinated traffic plan that better sorts, stacks, and delivers vehicles through the corridor. Do access management practices really work? When access along roadways is properly managed, Certain types of crashes, like rear ends and side swipes, are reduced, and congestion is generally lessened. This Iowa business owner has noticed improved safety in front of his car dealership. In the 40 years I've been here, uh, we in times have seen a lot of rear end, rear end collisions here, and we haven't seen one now for a long time. How can I have a say in the improvement project on my road? Access management works best when all stakeholders contribute to the project. Get involved. Most transportation agencies or municipalities will hold open houses or similar events that encourage your participation. Such meetings give business owners like you the opportunity to comment on proposed changes. Tell them what your delivery and customer needs are. Do you have expansion plans? What internal circulation issues exist today? Be sure to discuss issues during construction, as well as after the project is completed. Roadway improvement project planning works best when both the public and private sectors are well represented in the process. Where can I go to learn more about access management? 
Hopefully this video has helped to answer questions and address concerns you have about the roadway project proposed in your area. If you would like to learn more about access management tools and the reasoning behind them, or to learn about studies and research that will confirm your business will rebound after construction, you can start by reading the Federal Highway Administration's companion primer to this video. Safe access is good for business. For additional information, contact your local transportation department or the specific project planners. Another great resource is the Transportation Research Board's Access Management website at accessmanagement.info. This website is a huge clearinghouse of papers, research, and resources such as the National TRB Access Management Manual. The website promotes and discusses access management and the potential impact on businesses.